Welcome back to this tutorial series introducing you to projection mapping in Resolum. This video will cover how to set the BPM of your composition and sync your clips to the beat. We will also cover how to make your clips audio reactive to input from an external audio source like a microphone or to audio within the composition or the audio channel of the clip itself. Resolume makes it easy to synchronize visuals to music. By default, a composition is set to 120 BPM or beats per minute. This is displayed over here. This little square within a square shows you the four beats of your composition. Beat 1 is marked when the small square is in the top left and the larger square is highlighted. You can enter the BPM of your show manually here if you know it. You can plus or minus the BPM with these plus and minus icons, or nudge your clip if it's off time. Forward slash 2 halves the BPM, asterisk 2 doubles it. If you don't know your BPM, you can use the BPM tapper button. Listen for the four counts of your music and tap them out a few times, then hit resync. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, resync. Now in the transport section of the clip's properties, change the timing it will use for playback. Change the mode from timeline to BPM sync. You can see whether you've done a good job with the BPM tapper if the movement of the squares roughly syncs up with the beats of your music and that the highlight occurs on the first beat. My attempt wasn't bad. See how the clip starts again on beat one of the music. The beat parameters control the playback speed. We can change the number of beats it takes to play the whole clip. If I go to a clip where I animated a parameter, for example the sparkle triangle, and change the animation from timeline to BPM sync, the scaling of the triangle should match up to the beats of my music. Syncing with BPM ensures your clips gel with the music being played and makes your show look more polished and engaging. You could also make your generative clips react to external audio for example, audio inputted through your laptop's inbuilt microphone or an external microphone. If the cake were set up beside the dance floor, the content would respond to the music being played by the DJ. We can use the spiky sphere as an example. Let's locate the sphere size parameter and animate using external FFT. FFT refers to an incoming audio signal from a physical source like a microphone. Now audio detected by my laptop's microphone will drive the size of the sphere. Make sure Resolume recognizes your device. Go up to Arena, Preferences, and find the Audio tab. Choose your appropriate device under Audio Input Device. You might need to check your connections and relaunch Resolume in some circumstances. If the sphere size is not jumping when you click your fingers in front of your microphone, for example, then increase the gain using this knob. This increases the amount the parameter is affected by the audio. The small red bar also provides a small amount of visual feedback for audio levels. If you are still not seeing much of a change, increase the gain in your audio preferences. For even more visual feedback of your audio levels, go to View and Show FFT Gain. Here you can also adjust the FFT gain using this knob, as well as seeing a larger waveform of your audio input. If I put some music on in the room near the cake, the clip will respond to it. Swivel the drop down next to the FFT settings and you can change the in-out points of the audio range to which the clip will be responsive. These LMH icons let you quickly restrict the input to low, mid or high frequencies. So for example, 
Setting the input to low frequencies will have your clip only respond to the bass of a piece of music. If you are providing the music yourself, you might have audio in your deck that you are triggering along with accompanying visual content. In this case, you would change the animation to Composition FFT, as in, the clip should look to the audio triggered in the composition as its input. If a clip has its own audio, you can select Clip Audio FFT. In this scenario, the audio source is the clip's own audio track. Did you get your cake syncing up with your audio? Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments down below. If this video helped you, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe to stay up to date with more cake mapping and projection mapping tutorials and videos.